up, gang. It's your boy, Hito. I'm back with another video. It's video number two. We're going to get into NFL playoff predictions. I have the uh, bracket set up right here um, as far as who we're going to play. It seems like it seems like I'm correct when it comes to who we're going to be playing for real, you know, as far as everything going. I don't know if y'all would have watched the video with it. I mean, I'm, I, I, I kind of just have the bracket up here just so we could kind of, you know, just be a... a just be the more of the more uh, show of like who it could potentially be, but I feel like, mm, excuse me, but I feel like it's gonna be. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go down and see who else who's gonna win games. I'm gonna start with the AFC first. I'll do the NFC last. Save the best for last. But you know the NFC team is gonna be the one who wins. It's gonna be us, of course, the 49ers. As y'all see in the background, I don't know if y'all gonna see it fully, but y'all know. But yeah, but uh, starting with the Cleveland versus Texans game. That should be a solid game. Um, do you think C.J. Stroud and Tank Dale is going to get their first playoff win underneath under in their first year against the Browns? Uh, I'll go for it. I'll go for it and say, yes, they will. Yes, they will get their first win against the Browns as they are at home. C.J. Stroud. Tank Dell, they've been doing their thing this year. I ain't gonna lie, and they got a deep, and they got a linebacker that's been doing their thing too. As far as, so their rookie class has been a great class this year. So I ain't gonna cap if they if they get few uh, uh, but it's not gonna be a close. It's not gonna be a blowout though. I feel, I feel like it's gonna be a close game. It's gonna be a good Nick game because the Browns defense is no scrub either. The Browns defense are really good too, and their offense we still got Amari Cooper and all them. So like, hey. Their Browns is not something to be messed with, so I'm just saying. But I feel like the Texans will probably pull it out with C.J. Stroud getting their first playoff win, and then they'll go ahead and move on. With the Dolphins versus Chiefs, they play at Chiefs. I have Chiefs. I'm not I, – I, I go for Chiefs wherever my homeboy is. That's who I'm going with because his kryptonite is the 49ers on the other side. That's what it is when it comes to my homes. He runs the AFC to me, so I'm just saying it will be my homeboy that comes out with it. I mean, if Miami wins, though, that would be cool, too, because I ain't going to cap. Miami has potential potential firepower, but they got exposed against the against the Ravens. So I'm not going to lie to you. Miami going in there trying to do any type of damage for real, uh, I see that being rare. I see that being rare. I see that being rare. So I'm going to go Chiefs with that one. And then Steelers, Bills. Um, the Steelers kind of snuck in there, but, you know, Mike Tomlin always has a good season. They always have a winning season. They always sneak in there somehow. The Bills has been having – the Bills are the number two seed, but it's it's crazy, though, because they ain't really been doing too much. Like, they ain't been making no, like, no, like, real, real, uh, real uh, – I'm trying to look up their – I'm about to look up their stats, but they ain't really been making, like, too much, like, you know, real big noise as far as, like, the AFC playoffs were. Like, honestly – if I go Bills, it will just be because they're the number two seed is Bills. But honestly, if the Steelers pull one out and pull like a, a crazy like upset, I would not be surprised about that either. But I'm about to look. I'm about to look at it now as far as just um, how everything is going. Mm. It's it's, ne it's 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 rooted for negative. The yeah, the Buffalo is in favor by negative nine with 100 negative 115 to nine plus for the Steelers. Uh, that's where the odds are as far as betting. And then, so yeah, it's, it's all ruled in favor for the Bills. But I ain't gonna, I know, I know one of these teams is going to pull off a shocker. I'm just trying to figure out which one is going to be. I, the hardest game that I'll probably watch, the first game that I'll really probably like watch, watch will probably be that Texans game versus Browns. That'll probably be the games I watch. But if we're being honest, it's a really exciting wild card weekend for the AFC. I told y'all the AFC was gonna be the most exciting to watch for for when it comes to like you know, just the teams that are in it. Like you got you got uh, Mahomes versus Tua and their front high flying offense with Mike McDaniel's having his first time in playoffs for real. You see what he could do. Then you got C.J. Stroud, Tank Dell doing what he, they can do. Then you got the Browns. They're like the nitty gritty, like the nitty gritty five, number five team for real. Then, you know, you got the Steelers. Then you got the Bills with Stephon Diggs. And uh, I always forget his name. I ain't about to cap, but uh, 
But yeah, y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all know who I'm talking about, though. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Like, it's no disrespect to him. Y'all just, it's, it's just his name doesn't ring a bell. Josh Allen. There we go. Josh Allen. There we go. But yeah, it, that's that's kind of what that is for us. So, like, I know it's going to be some shocker team that I get wrong. If any, if hopefully, if I get any of them wrong, it will be that Texans versus Browns game. But if it's that Bill Steelers game on some weird things, then. That would just that would just surprise the Bills and the Bills. If the Bills lose, then I know for sure Stephon Diggs will want out, and I know for sure that um, that it will be some changes in the Buffalo Bills organization if they do not win against the Steelers and move on to the divisional round. But it's been too long for the Bills too. If we're being honest, the Bills is like a team that's like they're like the Colts from like back in the day with Peyton Manning when it was the. Patriots and Tom Brady and them, and you know, they'll get luckier here and there. And you know, how the Colts got lucky that one year and went to the Super Bowl when they beat Tom Brady and won that giant uh, against uh, who was it, the Buccaneers? Was it the Buccaneers? I forget who they played, but yeah, it was the Buccaneers. But yeah, like you know, how like Peyton Manning used to always lose to Tom Brady and stuff, like the Buffalo Bills, they always lose to the Chiefs, or if it's not the Chiefs, then it's somebody else. And that's just how it's been. That's just how it's been with the Bills. And that's like that's that's literally what it is. If they lose those Stephon Diggs, Jai gonna have to leave though. That's what I that's what I've said. Cause like it's been too long for them to Jai, you know, like really like really like, you know, really make like any more type of more moves for real. Like like what other moves can they make? Like if we're being honest. So that's what I, that's what I'm gonna say. They need to win against the Steelers, but if they don't it's going to be a problem. So, yeah. Moving on to the NFC, though. You got Eagles, Bucks. Uh, I for sure have the Eagles winning against the Buccaneers. They'll be moving on as far as Eagles, Buccaneers, as far as just all that. But literally, um, this is just because I trust the Eagles more. Jalen Hurts, they, I mean, even though they've been losing before they even went into the play, they've been losing, like I said, before they came to the playoffs. But, like, honestly, but honestly, though, I f- they should win against the Buccaneers. If they don't, if they don't win, then that's just saying that's saying something. And plus, it's in Tampa. It's not going to be cold or anything like that. It's light rain. They haven't. They're, they're favored negative three to four. They, they, the odds is negative three anyways. So literally, if they don't win, that's saying something. And if, I, I mean, that's better for us. I don't care. I'd rather play Tampa. We being honest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that's easy for me. You feel me? <laughs> but not nah, for real. So, but moving on, though, you got L.A. Rams versus Lions. I told y'all that's going to be the game I really want to lock in on. So I'm going to be really locked in on that L.A. LA Rams-Lions game just to see, just to do my homework more on the Lions. Bro. I'm not really trying to get into them like that. I'm trying to look at the – I'm going to look up the odds for it for betting and stuff. Detroit has a negative three. They're, they're favored negative three over the Rams. I ain't going to cap. They're favored. They're favored over the Rams. They're favored over the Rams. The Rams have been hot. <coughs> My fault, y'all don't reason like shit though. But yeah, the Rams been hot going into playoffs. They won like seven of the last eight, I believe. So like, and they beat us by one with a backup. So I mean, hey. But hey, they got them favored negative three. I ain't gonna cap. I'm not gonna go with Lions though. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with Rams. I hope the Lions win. That is what I will say. I hope the Lions win, but I'm gonna go with the Rams as far as betting purposes. Just to be sure, you know, because when I put my parlay in, I have the Rams winning, and but I'm gonna pray and hope that the Lions win, though, and I'll be cool if I, I'm, I'll be cool with that if I lose that bet. You know, I'll be cool with that. That's what I'm gonna do. So you know, I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna go with Rams, and then you know, Green Bay Packers versus Cowboys. Like I said, what will go wrong will go wrong with the Cowboys. I'm trying to tell y'all that's how it is. That's how it always is. It's what the saying is. Was that saying for a reason? But if y'all fold to the Packers, that's Dak Prescott, my man. Your season was pretty much for nothing, my man. I ain't going to cap. You was doing great against shitty teams. You looked great on Thanksgiving, you know, against Washington. You are throwing, throwing 400 yards looking like you <laughs> looking like you doing something, my man. It was Washington, my nigga. It's like, stop it. I mean, I mean, when I tell you you played like some shit when you played against us and some other team, you played cool against the Eagles. I mean, you played cool against the Eagles, but I'm just saying, I don't respect you. I don't respect it. So, I mean, I'm just saying, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking from a 49ers perspective because we're just better than y'all. So, I'm just, I'm just saying. So, 
But no, the Cowboys should get the win. If they don't get the win, it's because of the saying, what will go wrong will go wrong. So I expect the Cowboys to move on. But don't sleep on the Packers, though. Don't sleep on the Packers. You know, Jordan, you got Jordan Love back there, you know, first year. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing back there. You feel me? And you also got my boy Nathan Proctor. I mean, even though he went to North Point, I don't fuck with North Point. But, uh, you know, but yeah, you know, he's out there playing left tackle, you know, being his blind side and shit. But, you know, hey, if I wanted to go that Waldorf route, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to just, I'm going to go that route. You know, I'll go Packers, you know what I'm saying. So I'm just, I, I don't think his name is Nathan Proctor. I mean, I, that's how much I don't know North Point. You know what I'm saying? That's literally how much I don't know North Point. You know what I'm saying? I just know he's. I just know he plays left tackle for uh I just know he plays left tackle, so that's all that's all I'ma say. So yeah. But yeah, no. Nah. But yeah, but like if the Packers if they, I feel like it's gonna I know there's gonna be a surprise that would be the surprise game for me. That would be the surprise game. It would be the Packers versus Cowboys. And if the Packers win, if we end up playing the Packers next round, that would be that would be pfft. I'll be blessed for that, you hear me? And, I'm, and his name is not Nathan Proctor, because I'm not seeing it on the thing. That, But that just shows to prove to you how much I don't know North Point. I don't know shit about North Point. I can't lie. Yeah, we all went to Davis together, but, you know, I, I don't know. When it comes to North Point football, I'm only saying this because I know who's on that team when it comes to Green Bay. The only person I respect when it comes to North Point football is Malik Lawrence, the head coach, because I grew up with. That's literally it. Everybody else, I do not really respect. I mean, Kalen, you're cool. You're about to be the corner, the DB coming out of the draft. But y'all know what y'all know what it is when it comes to a Westlake guy. I cannot cap my Westlake. I do not with North Point. I do hate North Point. I do not like North Point. But Malik, you're a good man. You're a good man. You're know, technically family. So yeah, that's what that is. So yeah, that's pretty much what that is. So that's that's what that's what that 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 that's just that, what that is. But yeah. I will be rooting, though. So, but, yeah, I have the Cowboys winning just to be on the safe side. You know what I'm saying? Get, the Packers is going to have to – the Packers is going to have to uh, shock me. The Packers will probably – if the Packers shock me, I would not be surprised. You know what I mean? So, but, yeah, that's going to do it for my picks. I'm going to see what – y'all Y'all want to see what they – I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to, like, fast forward to see what he got. Oh, he did the – he did a full joint. He did a full joint. So, I'm going to see who he had going to the first round. Then I'm going to just show you. I'm going to just do first round only. And then, uh, so this is who he has going into the first round. He has Browns, Ravens, Chiefs, Bills, Rams, Rams, Niners, Eagles, Cowboys. That is who he has going out of the first round. I'll get back to you for our second round after the first round to see if our first round picks is even good for our wild card weekend. I hope y'all enjoy this video. Hope y'all enjoy Wild Card Weekend to this race to Vegas. You know what I mean? Because I want to be in Vegas. I can't. Cause I can't even lie. I want to be in Vegas. But, hey, them tickets is too damn expensive. You feel me? It's like 8K a ticket for a seat. And that's one ticket. So, I'm like, yeah, hell no. So, that's just what that's going to be. So, make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'm out.